Okay, so, hello, my name is Graham Kilshaw. I am the founder and CEO of the Friendship Cube Group. And I want to take this moment to introduce you to our Friendship Cube, which is our product, and uh, to explain maybe how you can learn, network, and earn with our for unique Friendship Cube technologies. Um, see, our Friendship Cube, it's, a, it's an interface tool. It's a computer interface tool, human computer interface. And uh, uh, we use it with augmented reality and virtual reality systems. Um, for augmented reality, it really does enhance um, situational awareness. But uh, right now, we're focused more on the virtual reality teaching than uh, the augmented reality tools. Um, in our virtual reality systems of the Friendship Cube, we use our cube either virtually or as a physical tool that's uh, recognized by webcam, pattern recognition uh, cameras. But um, we'll just stick to this. Uh, I'll explain the virtual Friendship Cube and what we're doing. We use our Friendship Cube to teach communication, navigation, strategy, memory, teamwork. Um, for young people, the cubes in the cribs can teach uh, can teach uh, pattern recognition, hand-eye coordination, um, visual tracking, that sort of skill. Um, hone in on skills. And, and for older students that have more experience with the cube, it can really teach literacy and numeracy in a new way. Um, so it's a great teaching tool. Um, as far as using the Friendship Cube in, in virtual reality environments, it's, it's also an interface. Um, and so uh, we use um, the Emotive Epoch, which is an electroencephalograph uh, neuro signals acquisition device. And that makes it so that we don't need to use a keyboard or a mouse to interact with the computer. We use our mind, basically. Our, our mind can manipulate this Friendship Cube in virtual reality and it's not just manipulating the cube, it's actually thinking in visual binary. Um, and, then, and then communicating uh, visual binary from human to, to computer. Um, and so there's a lot of, a lot of cool benefits. Um, I mean, light is faster than sound and it also travels further than sound. And visual binary is the most efficient means of communicating. Um, the cool thing about our visual binary, there are other systems of visual binary, like um, QR codes, quick response codes. But those, the, like if you can re remember, if, uh, Q QR code is uh, it's a square that has white and black squares on it, and it has three bigger squares to calibrate, and then one, and then little like white and black squares for the visual binary information. Um, our that's recognizable by a webcam or a cell phone, but ours is actually represented and recognized by the human eye. Um, and so, uh, you know, our visual binary friendship cube code is actually more human friendly than the old QR codes. Um, our diamond is the orienting symbol. And, our di and like on the friendship cube, the diamond symbols rotate to create phonetic letters that are, that are also visual binary um, bits. And they combine to create anagrams or visual binary words. And so it's cool that you have, have uh, phonetic letters and words represented by this friendship cube code. Um, and it's cool that uh, we have these... Um, you know, software and technology that we're developing for programs. We're not making all of our money selling physical cubes. We're making most of our money selling programs, software, um, that, uh, you know, is teaching, is educational, and it, it, it either helps people communicate, um, it either helps people network, it either helps people uh, be aware of their surroundings. Uh, there's a lot of good software that we're developing now. Um, and uh, I think what our next stage is with uh, virtual reality, and eventually it'll get more and more into augmented reality, like you buy a pair of sunglasses that has uh, um, a uh, interface on there with the Friendship Cube code, or in the future, 
you buy a t-shirt that has a uh, a uh, screen on it, a digital screen that you could um, that you could project visual binary, base or ex especially friendship cube code on it, and you could have it like this is my emotion shirt. I can say something. I can create my own brand in the moment, you know, and I you know, and that's kind of cool, so that people could express themselves without having to open their mouth. If you have a shirt that has a screen on it, you could you could express your emotion, your emoticon, on your shirt, and they're like so. I mean, we do have our own ideas for the Friendship Cube clothing line, which would be, um, you know, an augmented reality communication system, sunglasses and t-shirts and so forth, that enable uh, new levels of communication. But anyway, so there's so much potential for development of the Friendship Cube group, um, the Friendship Cube technologies, and, like, our model isn't just a corporation owned by IBM. Like, our model is a group of friends around the world that are basically holding hands and loving this Friendship Cube technology and having a passion for developing it and developing it quickly. And, you know, it's it's about friendship. It's it's more than just profit. Um, and I always think uh, the greatest measure of wealth is in friendships. So we want to welcome you in. It's an alliance enterprise. Um, and... Uh, you know, um, you can make lots of money developing solutions and software the Friendship Cube. It's kind of like, you know, there was the gold rush, you know, about 200 years ago in North America. And uh, that was fueled by a gold rush uh, economy. Um, and I think that the Friendship Cube group represents a new kind of gold rush. And we have our own monatomic gold in this gold rush. But what we're actually dealing with is the evolution of the internet and the evolution of human consciousness. And so what's happened is human consciousness has, has evolved as a result of the internet, especially uh, businesses like Google. Um, and what's happened is we've gone from the, the Web 1.0 to Web 2.0 and from Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. And Friendship Cube is a code in this gold rush, this new age gold rush, um, in the semantic web. And so, um, you know, I see this as, uh, as a gold rush that's going to last more than a couple decades. This gold rush is probably going to increase growing for centuries. So we, we've, we've got quite a gold rush ahead of ourselves. And... Uh, I think the Friendship Cube is iconically capable of representing the idea, the core idea of this new gold rush, this new age gold rush. And yeah, so come to me if you're interested in uh, this monatomic gold. Come to me if you're interested in Friendship Cube. Come to me if you're interested in Semantic Web. Come to me if you're interested in the Singularity. Come to me if you're interested in making a huge amount of money developing the best software on Earth. That's basically where it's, what it, where it's at. And I don't have all the solutions. But I have a little piece of <coughs> what's going that's moving things forward. And that's, that's how it goes. So good.